What's up, Hang Gang? In this video, I talked to a lot of people on Campus Corner, even someone causing some disturbances, but the reason I did this is twofold. One, we are commanded to preach the gospel to others and to be evangelists for the kingdom and share the good word for those who need to be saved and need to hear it. That is a command from scripture to do so. And that's been a burden on my heart ever since I've been saved. But also last week, unfortunately, something tragic happened midweek, very late at night on Campus Corner, right here in Norman, Oklahoma. Basically on campus, like I said, it was at Campus Corner. It's not worth repeating here on this video. And I don't recommend you go and look it up. And if you are older, then I understand and you can, but it is egregious what happened, quite frankly, gas. And it reminds me of the book of John. Jesus says, in this world, you will have trouble, but take heart, I've overcome the world. And the reality is we live in an evil, messed up world, but Jesus is coming back very soon to make all things right, to judge the living and the dead. And so for the people who committed these egregious, ghastly deeds, they will be judged very severely. And in the meantime, God's grace is still open if they would repent and put their trust in Jesus. Yes, anyone, no matter how much of a sinner, can be forgiven of their sin and receive this gift of Jesus' righteousness because of what he has done for us on the cross. Much evil will occur, but I promise you, God, he will pay back justice to those who disobey him. We must just be soldiers for the kingdom. So really, I made this video because I was burdened in my heart to do so. I felt terrible about what happened, and I wanted just to have some good come out of this. So I wanted to share the gospel with people on Campus Corner, even on a rowdy Saturday night. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and beyond that, get value out of it, because it's my hope and prayer that you are encouraged to also be a light in society and go share the gospel and preach the good news. And I must say, disclaimer, do not do this like I'm doing late at night by yourself. Always go with somebody. And also, you can share the gospel in your day-to-day -day life. But I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know what you think in the comments down below. What up, Hang Gang? Michael Turk here. And I'm here with... John Wilkins, Kurt. Do you believe in the gospel? Oh, yeah. 100%. 100%? All right. The second question that I'm asking I'm people... I'm doing a YouTube vlog. Oh, what's up, bro? Yeah, you know me? Hang time, that's yes, right. Sir. What's Hang up, guys? Okay, hey. Sir. hey, guys. If you passed away today, would you say you know for sure you're going to heaven? Yeah. How come? Because I'm a sober soul. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll just say something real quick and then you, I can ask another question. The Bible talks about how we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So do you believe that you have sinned? And then if so, when you stand before God on Judgment Day, would you be innocent or guilty? Innocent. To proven guilty. I'll give you a quick test, all right? You ready? Have you ever told a lie before? Oh yeah, everybody has. Okay, have you ever stolen anything? Yeah, everybody has. Okay, me too, but right now that's already two of God's 10 commandments and you've broken them, right? I've broken probably all 10. Broke. Okay, that's a very humble of you to admit. Now let me, let me ask you this then. So on judgment day, when God judges you based on that standard, would you be innocent or guilty? I'm Jay Prodigal shit. Would you be innocent or guilty, yes I'm or no? I'm a guilty man. Guilty, so heaven or hell? I guess I'm going to hell. Does that concern you? I'm a demon baby. Does that concern you? Chicken and gravy. Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, it concerns me too. And that's because it's out of love that I'm telling you this because the good news of the gospel is, although we have sinned and broken God's law and we're guilty, God also loved us and he sent us his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. So guys, check this out. If you truly do repent of your sin, and put your trust in Jesus, you can have salvation. And so that way God forgives all of your sin because Jesus bore that penalty that you deserved on the cross. People are scared of me on campus, bro. But, but check this out, but check this out. If you don't, if you reject that message, only a fearful expectation of judgment awaits. Right here, Marines, bring it in. How's it going, guys? Going Captain, he's a sergeant. No but disrespect. I would want you to know that you can know for sure you are going to heaven if you've truly repented and put your trust in Jesus. So when, when are you gonna do that? Tonight, I guess. Anything holding you back? Um, sex and, and weed. Weed is an ice and herb, so I guess it's, it's fine. But check this out. The Bible does say, be sober and alert for your enemy. The devil prowls around like a roaring lion oh, looking for someone to devour. Uh, uh, he but don't I'll, want no beef. But also, let me say this. If you are being serious that, about nothing holding you back, then that's between you and God. You can crowd to him tonight. You can truly crowd to him and ask him to forgive your sin and put your trust in Jesus. But you got to really mean it. How old are you? 24. I'm 10 years older than you, dog. Oh, and, and, some, and, people, and guess what? Life is short, and sometimes people get away with things. But at the end of the day, no one here is going to get away with any sin in the end because God will judge us all one day. You know what I'm saying? No one's truly going to get away with anything. God will judge us all. He sees everything. He sees what goes on in the dark as well as the light. That should strike fear. The Bible says the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. You're going to walk? You're going to walk and film? Hang time? Yeah. Yes. Oh, can we be in a video? Sure. I was, Wait, are you doing like trivia? No, I was actually going around sharing the gospel, talking to people about Jesus and what they believe in. Probably not what you were thinking, but. Okay. That's what I was talking about because also this world's messed up a lot of you know crazy things happen including last week Something really bad here happened on campus corner So I'm just mm -hmm. trying to give people hope and also give them awareness of yeah. would you say you know for sure you're going to heaven or no? 
Um, personally, I don't believe in heaven. Okay. So I don't know. I do, and I also believe in this earth. There's such thing as objective truth. Mm -hmm. But that means it's true whether you believe it, acknowledge it or not. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And Jesus, he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If heaven actually is true, would you say, would you would you be going yes or no? Yeah, I think so. If I were to believe in that, I think I would. This will take two seconds. This us take two seconds. The final thing I'll say is, it's not based on your good works. The Bible talks about how we've already, we have already all sinned, right? Yeah. But it's based upon Jesus, Jesus dying on the cross for your sin. Yeah. So I just encourage you to think about that tonight. Period. All right, all right, Alicia, bye-bye. Bye, Bye. nice to meet you. Okay, we'll, we'll talk to more people here. What's your name, bro? Uh, Johnny. All right, represent. All right, Johnny. The first question I was asking people tonight, and this will be two minutes. Would you say you believe in God, bro? Yes or no? Yes, sir. I do believe in God, yeah. Okay. My next question, perhaps a little more personal, but also interesting. If you passed away tonight, would you say you know for sure you're going to heaven? Uh, yes, I, I think I will go to heaven. Hopefully so. How come? Uh, just the way I live my life. Um, just have a lot of beliefs that... You know, if you do good to others, you know, good will come to you, things like that. Um, but kind of just pay it forward. Um, okay. Just, you know, pay it forward. The reason that you said you're going to heaven is because basically you're, and correct me if I'm wrong, because you've done some good works and you're pretty much a good guy. Yes, All right. I think you're a nice guy. Like, you, you've been really nice to me. But the reality is, here's what I believe, and, I'm, and here I want you to respond. The Bible says, no one is good, no, not one. For we have all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. So I'll admit myself, like, dude, I'm a wretched sinner. I've already broken this God's law. And, and we can see that. Here's an example. Have you ever told a lie before? Yes, sir, I have. Or have you ever maybe stolen something or, or used God's name in vain? Yes, sir. Jesus said, if I just look at a woman with lust, I've committed adultery in my heart. Have you ever done that? Man. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So the reality is, we're all sinful. And so if God were to judge you, would you be innocent or guilty of breaking his law? I'd be guilty. So do you think you'd go to heaven or hell? Man. Still heaven. Still. God for, uh, Jesus forgives all. He says Jesus forgives all. What do you say? I would agree with that. I would agree okay. With that. Yes, Jesus can forgive us of our sin, but since God is just and holy, he also has to punish people who have broken his law. For, for example, if I stole your wallet and I went to the judge and I said, hey, I know, what's your name again? Johnny. Johnny? Yeah, Johnny. I stole Johnny's wallet, but I heard you're forgiving and he just let me go. Would that be just or unjust? It depends on what you do. What do you guys think? Unjust. 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 Right? Unjust. 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 All right. Or something something worse. And I feel bad even like, saying like this. But like, what if someone, back. yeah, what if someone, and he let them go because he said I'm forgiving. Would that be just or unjust? Unjust. That'd be unjust. But here, check this out. This is the last thing I'll say. The good news of the gospel, this is what separates Christianity from every other religion in the world. The good news of the gospel is that Jesus, he lived a perfect life. And guess what he did? He paid the penalty for our sin that we deserved when he bore God's wrath, the Father, on the cross. It's the good news that Jesus died on the cross for your sin, and that when you believe in him for salvation, you can be forgiven of all your sin. But you said Jesus forgives all, but the reality is, and Jesus says in Matthew 7, many will say unto me, Lord, Lord, didn't we do this or do that? And he says, depart from me, you worker of iniquity, I never knew you. And so it is very good news, but you have to repent of your sin and trust in him. And so that's the good news of the gospel, bro. And if you were to ask me, and I know for sure I'm going to heaven, not because I'm better than any of you four guys or anyone here tonight, but I know for sure I'm going to heaven because I know for sure I truly have repented and believed in Jesus. Have you ever heard the term uh, born again? Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, that means that you have truly given your life to Christ. You know what I'm saying? So would you say you've truly been born again and given your life to Christ or no? I think there's time for that. I think there's a lot of time for that. So, okay. I like like your words and everything. So right. I think there's a lot of time for that. All right. Anybody else want to answer that? I mean, I, I mean, no, I don't think I've been born again. I mean, I, I I was born in a Catholic church and been Christian all my life, but recently, no. I would just encourage you, bro, before you, as you put your head on your pillow tonight, think about eternity. And if you really do know God, because the Bible says God has clearly revealed himself through creation and then personally revealed himself through the person work of Jesus, bro. And also, you said you have time, but our life's like a vapor. You know, the Bible talks about the time. What if you passed away tonight? And then guess what? You're swept into eternity. So I'd encourage you just to get right with God whenever you can. But see you guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Yeah. Yes, sir. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. All right, hang gang. We're still around here talking to people about the gospel. Ephesians 6 says, our battle is not against flesh and blood. And so fulfill your ministry. Preach the word to people. And I don't recommend just maybe by yourself going around at night, especially if you're a woman. But um, guess what? We all have a ministry to fulfill. And when you do that, you are being the salt and light of the earth. You never know whose life you can change and who you will save and also influence for good in society. So that's the goal tonight. Hey, what's up, bro? What's your name? Uh, Jack. Jack? Yeah, Nice Jack. to meet you, Jack. Would you say you believe in God or a creator or no? Yeah, I think there's a higher power, most definitely someone that created this. this okay. Earth and this, you know. Gotcha. So, Jack, you would say you believe in a higher power, but maybe you don't know I, I, for I, sure. I, I like, believe in God. 
just like through experiences that I had, like okay. just like like I'll say like my childhood and just like my bringing up. Like I was always in church, you know. Okay. My parents had me in like Sunday school, yeah. going to church on Wednesdays and stuff. So I believe in God. That's just like how I was raised and stuff. Would you believe that there is such thing in this life as uh, objective truth? And what I mean by that is, I'm in college right now, where we're basically being taught that you know my truth is my truth, your truth is your truth. But when it comes to God, do you think God can truly be known and that he has actually revealed himself personally as being true? Or do you think it's just subjective based on whatever people believe? Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hold on. I think of it. All right. Here's what I believe. Maybe this would be some more food for thought before you answer. Jesus, in the Bible, he says in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me. In other words, here's what Jesus is saying. If someone else comes along and says they're God or they believe this or that, that doesn't make it automatically true, but Jesus really did prove it by dying on the cross, raising again. So that's what I mean. So do you think God can personally be known or? Yeah, or I feel like he can. I feel like everyone has their own relationship with God, you know? You know for sure where you're going after you pass away here on this earth. Because the Bible says our life is like a vapor. You seem like a young guy, but you know what? We can both pass away tonight. We never know when our time is, right? Yeah, I would. I so do you know for sure where you're going or no? Man, uh, like, cause I don't know, like, I don't know, cause I, I sinned, obviously, you know. And yeah. I, like we all sin. I, I always ask for forgiveness, but is that really enough? Like, you know, yeah. ask for forgiveness. Like that's, they yeah. say that's all you have to do. Well, but, I'll say this. That's a humble thing of you to say, cause sometimes when I ask people this question, they'll say, "Yeah, I know for sure I'm going to heaven, cause I'm a good guy, yeah. or I've done enough good works." But if you have truly repented of your sin and put your trust in Jesus, you can be forgiven. So my last question is, you have truly ever given Jesus your life, or no? Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. For sure? For when sure, was that? Sure. Uh, the first time, like, cause I, 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 you know, obviously I went through some time and I was going through yeah. some hard time. But my first time I had went through some life changing experiences. I was a fifth grader. I was going to, I was going to the youth with like sixth, seventh and eighth graders. And I chose myself and I felt that I needed to be saved and baptized, you know, so yeah. I got saved and then re-baptized. So I was baptized when I was a kid, but I didn't make that choice truly myself. Okay. As of when I made it when I was in fifth grade. So but nothing's random, bro. I truly believe that. And actually yeah. in the Bible it says that. It says in Romans 8 28, all things work together for the good yeah. to those who love the Lord. So even tonight, me meeting you and talking to you, bro. Oh uh, yes sir. All right, hang gang. Jack was a real cool guy. He also told me afterwards that it's pretty crazy I talked to him tonight because of something personal that happened. I didn't want to share on camera, but that happened today. So that wasn't random. But as you guys can see, we are here on Campus Corner. Nothing on this earth compares. The passing pleasure of sin doesn't compare to knowing God and, and the good news of the gospel. I think there's people recording me or something, but maybe we'll talk to a few more people about the gospel, but I just wanted to update you guys.